a couple really nice enhancements in the software. Uh, one is that we now have uh, support for hold milling uh, cycles. Uh, so this is a common uh, practice on, on Heidenheim controls uh, and Siemens controls. Then it's, instead of putting out all the uh, you know, linear motions or, or circular motions or helix motions uh, for, some, for milling holes um, or thread milling holes or, or something of that nature, um, we have cycles in the control that we can just input the parameters and, uh, and let the control handle the, the actual cut pattern. Um, so we now have that ability in, in NX uh, using uh, bore mill, uh, sorry, boss milling cycles or, or thread milling cycles uh, to output a machine cycle type. So I'm going to jump into NX to uh, demonstrate this briefly. And let me see here. We'll go in here. This is just a demo part. Uh, but you can see I have a, a a uh, couple holes programmed here. And this is just a hole milling operation. And so just to review, um, I went and selected my holes. Uh, I have my cut patterns um, set and, and what pitch I want to use and, and things of that nature. Uh, and you can see what the tool path looks like. It's just a, a helical uh, hole milling path working its way down. But what's, what's new under program and machine control is this ability for motion output. Uh, instead of single moves, we now have machine cycle. And if I were to list this tool path, we see we get this cycle mill uh, line. And this is the output that we need for the post processor to be able to output cycles. So I've created a, a post for a, a high nine control here. And I'll just go ahead and run, run the code, uh, post the code, and we can take a look at it. So now this was, uh, I wrote this post early uh, in the NX 1899 release. And at that point in time, uh, the posts did not uh, come out of the box to support any uh, uh, of these whole milling cycles. So I wrote my own logic to, to handle it. Uh, however, now uh, uh, Siemens development, uh, their post development team, uh, they've been working on many more cycles that they support. Um, so as we you know, move forward in time here, uh, there'll be more and more support out of the box for this functionality. Uh, so if you're not familiar with what hole milling uh, uh, or some of these cycles can do, uh, instead of having lines and many, many lines of code, uh, what we're really looking at here is, is we're just positioning the tool and very similar to a, a drilling operation. Uh, instead of uh, just drilling the hole, it's calling out, uh, in this case, it's cycle def 208, that's high nine cycle for uh, doing some bore milling. And it has a number of parameters uh, that this, this information is, is um, parsed from our operation and output. So the, the machine will just go ahead and, and do these bore milling operations. And, and in this case, I have four, uh, four holes that are gonna be bore milled. And then those same holes, I have a, a thread milling cycle. Uh, and if I go into my thread mill operation, we can see the same is, uh, is true. We now have the uh, motion output for, for machine cycles. And once again, if I uh, post this code, we'll see the output looks very similar. Uh, the only difference being that instead of a cycle 208, we now have a cycle 262, uh, which is high nines thread milling cycle. Uh, so it's really nice functionality there for minimizing how much code is is in the machine. Um, you know, newer machines, okay, it's, it's probably not uh, so important to, to keep the file size down. Uh, but this also gives us the ability to uh, have some adjustability, uh, greater adjustability for the operator. Uh, they can easily change depth. They're just changing parameters. They're not changing any, any real positions of the machine. Uh, so I'm a big fan of this. I, I, was, I was happy to see this development in, in the software. Some other new functionality that has come out in...